minus 1 into root 3 plus 1 becomes in the form of a square minus b square which is 3 minus 1 so we'll get it as 2 tan 45 is 1 a e is 75 minus h e c can also be taken as b d tan 60 degree is equal to opposite by adjacent side that is i get opposite side is h adjacent side is x everyone a warm welcome to one and all this is yashruti ma'am lecturing in vidyashram the temple of excellence mysuru in this session we are going to revise the chapter heights and distances so from this chapter you will get only one question in your examination that is under the section part e where you will get a questions in the form of 6 plus 4 so therefore you will get one four marks from this chapter so let's see the questions now the angles of elevation of the top of a tower from the base and the top of a building are 60 degree and 45 degree. The building is 20 meter tall. Find the height of the tower. So here we have a tower and we have a building here. So consider a person is standing there. So when you see the top of the building as well as the bottom of the building. So this will be the angle of elevation here. So from here to here again. So I'll draw two lines here which is parallel to each other and this forms a base. So you can clearly see this angle is 45 degree and this angle is 60 degree. So they also given that the building is 20 meter tall. So that means the height of the building is 20 meter. So this is the height of the building. So let me take the height of the tower as h. Now since these two are equal so this height is also 20 so what about the remaining height this side is h minus 20 now from the diagram let me consider this as a b c d and this point as e now from triangle a e c okay so from triangle a e c i can write tan 45 degree is equal to CE by AE is equal to so opposite side by adjacent side that is AE by CE. CE can also be written as BD here. AE is H minus 20 divided by BD. So now tan 45 degree is 1. So therefore we will get 1 is equal to H minus 20 divided by BD or I can write BD is equal to H minus 20. Now from the triangle ADB or we can take ABD. So again from triangle ABD tan 60 degree is equal to AB by BD. So tan 60 is root 3. So we will get root 3 is equal to AB is we have taken as height. BD is the base and whose value is H minus 20. So therefore here AB is H divided by H minus 20. So here we will get root 3 H minus 20 root 3 is equal to H or I can write H as a common factor. I will get root 3 minus 1 is equal to 20 root 3 or I will get H is equal to 20 root 3 divided by root 3 minus 1. So this is the height. If you want to rationalize it, you can multiply with its conjugate. So then we will get h is equal to 20 root 3. So here we have root 3, root 3 plus 1 along with root 3 we have whole divided by root 3 minus 1 root 3 plus 1 becomes here 3 plus root 3 minus 1 into root 3 plus 1 becomes in the form of a square minus b square which is 3 minus 1 so we will get it as 2. So on dividing which we will get 10 root 3 into root 3 plus 1 in terms of meter. So this is the height of the tower. Next. Two towers of height 14 meter and 25 meters stand on the level ground. The angle of elevation of their tops from a point on the line joining their feet are 45 degree and 60 degree respectively. Find the distance between the tower. So let me consider we have a 14 meter tower as well as a tower of 25 meter. 
So from a particular point here, the this is the base if I consider from a particular point, the angle of elevation is 45 degree to the one and for the other one it is 60 degree. So let me consider them as A, B, C, D and this is E. Now let X be the distance between the towers. Now I need to find out what is X. Now again from the triangle A, B, E. So we can take tan 45 degree is equal to A, B by B, E. Since tan 45 degree is 1, we will get B, E is equal to A, B. So A, B is 14 here. So therefore we will get B, E is equal to 14. Now next again from triangle C, D, E. So from triangle C, D, E, we are getting tan 60 degree is equal to, is equal to C, D by E, D. C, D by E, D. Now C, D is given. So tan 60 is root 3. C, D is given as 25. So therefore write it as 25. Now E, D, this E, D can be written as x minus b e because we know this from this equation this is also 14 so I can write it as x minus b e. So here I will write it as x minus b e. Now we know what is b e. b e is root 3 so therefore when you multiply it so root 3 is equal to 25 divided by x minus 14. So here x root 3 minus 14 root 3 is equal to 25. So here x is equal to 25 minus 14 root 3 divided by root 3. So again if you want to rationalize this you will get x is equal to 25 root 3 minus here 14 into root 3 into root 3 becomes 14 3 which is 42 in terms of meter. So this is the distance between the two towers. Next question. A person is at the top of the tower 70 feet high. From there he observes a vertical pole at an angle of depressions of 30 degree and 60 degree. Find the height of the pole. So here a person is standing at the tower whose height is given that is 75 meter. We have a pole here. The person observes the top of the pole and also bottom of the pole. So let me consider two parallel lines joining these points. And let me name the points as A, B, C, D, E. Let the height of the pole be H. So if this is H again, then this distance will be 75 minus H. And angle of depression is this is 45 and this is 60 degree. Again from triangle A, E, C, we get tan 45 degree is equal to AE by EC. Tan 45 is 1. AE is 75 minus H. EC can also be taken as BD. So we will get BD is equal to 75 minus H. Next again from triangle ABD. We get tan 60 degree is equal to AB by BD. So AB is given. So this is 75. BD here we have taken as 75 minus H. So multiplying here we will get 75 root 3 minus H root 3 is equal to 75. So H root 3 is equal to 75 into root 3 minus 1. So H is equal to 75 into root 3 minus 1 divided by root 3. To remove root 3 you can multiply root 3 divided by root 3. So you will get the value root 3 into root 3 is 3. So when you divide 75 by 3. So the height of the pole will be equal to 25 and here we have root 3 into root 3 minus 1. So this is the height of the pole. Next question. 
The angle of depressions of two boats as observed from the mast head of a ship 50 meter high are 45 degree and 30 degree. What is the distance between the boats if they are on the same side of the mast head in a line with it? So we have a ship here whose height is given that is 50 meter. So we have two boats here an angle of depression of two boats are given. So that is 45 degree and 30 degree. So this is 45 degree and this is 30 degree. Let the distance between the boats be x. Now I need to find out the distance x here. So let me consider this as a, b, c, d. Now since again this is a right angle triangle. So you can clearly see from the first triangle a, b, c. So from triangle a, b, c I can have tan 45 degree is equal to AB by BC. So AB is 50. Let me keep BC as it is. So I will get BC is equal to 50. So now I got this distance as 50. So X can be taken as BD minus BC. So for the next triangle ABD from triangle ABD we get tan 30 degree is equal to AB by BD. Tan 30 is 1 by root 3. AB is 50. The total length BD is BC plus CD. So therefore here it is BC plus CD. So which is 50. This BC is 50 here again and this is X. X is the distance between the boats. So here we get 50 plus x is equal to 50 root 3 or x is equal to 50 root 3 minus 50 or x is equal to 50 into root 3 minus 1. So therefore in terms of meter, so therefore x is nothing but the distance between the boats we have taken. So therefore the distance between the boats is equal to 50 into root 3 minus 1 meter. Next question, a person standing on the bank of a river observes that angle subtended by a tree to the, on the opposite bank is 60 degree. When he returns 40 meter from the bank, he finds the angle to be 30 degree. Find the height of the tree and the breadth of the river. So a person is standing on the other side of the bank of a river. So he observes a tree here. So when he was standing here, he observed that the angle of elevation to the tree was 60 degree. So he moves 40 meter away now. So after moving 40 meter away, again he observes the top of the tree, the angle was 30 degree. Now I need to find out the distance or the breadth of the river and the height of the tree. So let me name it as A, B, C, D. Now again from triangle A, B, C. From triangle ABC, we have tan 60 degree is equal to opposite by adjacent side. That is, I will get opposite side is H, adjacent side is X. So, tan 60 is root 3, which is equal to H by X or I can take H is equal to X root 3. Now, let me take the triangle ABD. So, now from triangle a, B, D, tan 30 degree is equal to A, B by B, D. So tan 30 is 1 by root 3, H is A, B, B, D here can be taken as 40 plus X. So now we will get here 40 plus X is equal to H root 3. So here, so here H can be taken as X root 3. So therefore here we will get 40 plus H is equal to X root 3 into root 3. So we get 3X here, 40 plus X here. So which will get 2X is equal to 40. So therefore X is equal to 20 meter. So what is X? X is the breadth of the river. So the breadth of the river is 20 meter. Now we know that H is X root 3. So therefore the height of the tree is X root 3 that is H is equal to 20 root 3 meter which is the height of the tree. 
So this is how we are going to find out the height and distances using the right angle triangle and the trigonometric ratios. So from this chapter you will get one mark question on 4 marks. We will meet you in the next session with a new chapter. Until then keep watching, keep learning, keep exploring. Thank you.